Hey, this Friday, the kids are going to get that sugar overload of candy while trick-or-treating. So how do you help them avoid cavities and problems with their teeth? Dr. Miles Hall is the National Clinical Director for Cigna Dental. All right, what do parents need to keep in mind this Halloween? Well, first of all, as we're dressing up our kids as goblins and ghosts, we don't want to be spooked by their next dental exam. Good point. And one of the facts that is very sobering, in a 2000 Surgeon General's report, it indicated that tooth decay is the most common chronic childhood disease. In fact, for children between the ages of two and five, one in four are affected by tooth decay. And even more, more sobering is the fact in a recent report that in this same age group, two to five, that there is actually for the first time in 40 years an increase in tooth decay. Wow. So here's some of the things we can consider. Uh, we can consider obviously alternatives to sugary, sticky treats. But uh, if they're going to have their sugar treats, uh, one thing to do is to limit the frequency. We know that the more frequent exposure to sugar increases the effect of, of bacteria creating cavities. So if we can limit those, and particularly if they're going to eat the sugary sweets, make sure they're they brush with the fluoride toothpaste immediately after. What about bottled water? You know, there's, I've, I've heard this because it doesn't contain fluoride. Is that something parents might want to consider limiting, using tap water, that sort of thing? Certainly in tap water you're going to have the fluorid, fluoridation, which is a good thing. Uh, using a fluoride toothpaste is also recommended. And also when they go to regular dental visits, having the fluoride treatment there as well. So I think the best advice is probably to ask their dentist uh, according to the local fluoride fluoridation levels and to see what they recommend. Any quick tips on encouraging your kids to brush their teeth if they don't like doing that? Well, I think the biggest thing is as parents we need to set the example. If they see us uh, exhibiting good hygiene, I think that'll go a long ways with children. Also, uh, I have four children myself and it's, it's, it's very nice to see them get into the habit. If we start the habit quite young, even when they're very young, even when they're too small to have toothpaste, put on the toothbrush because they may swallow it and, and get the fluoride. But uh, just the regular uh, having the parents there, encouraging them, I think is important. All right, let's take a look at some tips now because also one of the things you wanted to talk about were vision tips for Halloween costumes. Um, we have some on the screen there. What do you recommend? Well, first off, um, you may want to consider painting the child's face instead of using a mask. If a mask must be used, make certain that the vision is not obstructed. Also allow the child to carry a flashlight so that they can see where they're going and also where others can see where they are as well. And also consider using a reflective tape on their costume or on their uh, trick-or-treat bag. All right, Dr. Hall, thank you so much. Great alternative tips. As always, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. All right.